Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the Block Ball plugin. So this is a really awesome mini game which allows you to play footy in Minecraft. Now obviously the World Cup is going on at the moment so this is a particularly appropriate plugin to review and overall it is fantastic, it's very easy to set up and it works really well. So as you can see at the moment it is not allowing me on the pitch because I am not on a team. So what we're going to do is go to this pitch over here and set up a brand new arena. Now it's very easy, all we need to do is do the 4 slash block ball command and then we can create one over here by clicking in the chat window. Now what we've got here is a few different mandatory settings that we need to do. So the first thing is we can change the name, so I'm going to call it Server Miner. There we go, so we've changed the name of it and it's ID2. It is enabled and then we want to select the pitch entirely. So if we click on the selection bit and then it gives us a gold axe. Now what we need to do is select the entirety of it. So I'm going to go up here to this block and then fly all the way around to the opposing corner. And I'm going to right click this block as well. And then actually some of the goal didn't get copied so I'm going to just pop this here like so and we'll have a proper goal. And now that's going to encompass the entire pitch so we want to click it again and then it's going to tell you the world name and some coordinates. Now we need to do the same thing for the goals. So there's a blue team and a red team. So what we need to do is select the entirety of the goal and this is the blue goal so we're going to hit select for this one and you'll see some particles pop up when you do that. And then do the exact same for the red goal, make sure you select the entirety of it and then hit select it and then you see some particles, renders the virtual blocks, that is our red goal. Now the final thing we actually want to do is stand bang in the middle and this is going to be our ball spawn point. So if you click location it's going to set that here and then the last thing you can actually do is go to settings and there's a ton of settings you can do so team red. You can set the minimax about players, armor, various stuff like that, walking speed. If we go back, there's certain rewards you can give. So let's go ahead and actually create some signs. Those are pretty handy. So if we click on signs, we can create one for team red. So click add and then right click the sign. We can do one for team blue. I'm gonna add that as well. We can join any team, add that one. And then let's add a leave sign as well. And once we save and reload, these will be all working. Now if we go back, we can hit save, just to make sure everything is properly saved. Go into settings, there's some information about spectating, if we want to set that up. Any effects we want, such as a scoreboard, you can enable that yes or no. Uh, same for the boss bar and holograms. And then once we're happy, we can save, reload, and suddenly, Server Miner is ready to join and we can join the red or the blue team. So if we hit blue team, what it's going to do is spawn us into the game. You can see that we cannot escape thanks to the fence and the ball has spawned and we probably don't want to kick it that way because that is actually an own goal. Um, we are going to go back the other way and give it a good whack in the back of the net. And let's have another one and you can see the ball physics are actually pretty good. Now. If you accidentally go outside the pitch, it will kick you from the game. So it says you've le left the game and it will give you your axe back. So that is how you would set up a game of block ball. As you can see, it's very straightforward. You can customize all the various settings, create signs so it's easy for your players to join and leave. And I'm sure you could create a much more interesting pitch than this. Uh, this took me two minutes with World Edit. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. It is working fantastically. It's got a ton of features and there is a wiki here you can look at as well. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.